Hey rock enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Rockumentary channel, your go-to source for all things rock and music. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Keep up to date on the latest news, documentaries and fascinating insights from the world of rock. And to our loyal viewers, a big message, you rock! Now, let's dive into today's intriguing topic. Today, we're tackling a question that has resonated throughout the rock community, why haven't Matt Sorum and Steven Adler returned to Guns N' Roses? It's a question that's on many fans' minds, and we already know. Steven Adler, the original drummer for Guns N' Roses, faced many difficulties, which led him to leave the band. Adler left Guns N' Roses because he was fired due to excessive drug use, which was widespread throughout the band at the time. However, Adler's drug abuse reached alarming levels, impacting the band's productivity. Despite being fired, Adler sued Guns N' Roses in 93, citing several problems. In 2016, there was a brief moment when Guns N' Roses considered inviting him to play some shows. However, health issues and disagreements limited their participation. On the other hand, Matt Sorum, who left the band in 98, expressed interest in a reunion, but did not join when it finally happened in 2016. The dynamics within the band, combined with disagreements, played a crucial role. Axel's preferences and past conflicts were significant factors. Instead of bringing back Steven Adler or Matt Sorum, the band decided to stick with Frank Ferrer. Now, Steven Adler did get a chance to join as a guest for a few songs during the Not In This Lifetime tour, but what about Matt Sorum? Well, it seems he was left out intentionally. In an interview, when asked if he'd consider a future invite from the band, Sorum responded, well, I really don't know. You have to take things as they come, one day at a time, right? Sarum continued, I've made a lot of changes in my life based on what's good for me. And these changes are also about what's right at the moment and within the context of what's happening for everyone involved. I can say I'm not sitting by the phone waiting for a call to go back to Guns N' Roses or anything like that. I'm moving forward with my life and thoroughly enjoying it. He added, I love what I'm doing now, and that's good enough for me. But you never know. I've learned that in life, you never know, and I've learned to never say never because you can't predict the twists and turns that happen around the corner. But I'm not expecting it, and that's okay with me. In his biography, Double Talkin' Jive, True Rock and Roll Stories, Sorum revealed he found out about the reunion through the internet while on tour in South America with Slash and Duff McKagan. Quite the plot twist, isn't it? It's a complex web of history and dynamics that prevents these two iconic drummers from permanently joining Guns N' Roses. As we wrap up this rock documentary, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Leave your comments below, do you think Steven Adler or Matt Sorum should make a permanent return? Who is your favorite drummer? If you enjoyed this deep dive into rock history, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts. If you haven't already, subscribe for more intriguing rock documentaries, news and behind-the-scenes stories. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to continue this journey through the rich tapestry of rock and music history. Until next time, keep rocking and stay tuned for more on the Rockumentary channel.